Hello everyone and welcome to Barca News. It is Tuesday, June 28th, 2022 and there are a lot of updates from the meeting that took place yesterday between Xavi, Matteo Alemani and Jordi Cruyff and I'm here to give you all of those updates. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, my name is Mo and I created this channel so it could be a one-stop shop for all Barcelona fans where they can come here and get the latest news regarding FC Barcelona. Whether it be transfer rumors, injury updates, post-match analysis or anything else, you will find it here. So I invite all of you to please subscribe to my channel so you can stay current on all the latest news regarding our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Now we'll begin with the news that Xavi Hernandez met yesterday with Barcelona's director of professional football, Matteo Alemani, and his right-hand man, Jordi Cruyff, to discuss the sporting plans for next season. In fact, Xavi has cut his vacation by an entire week and has come back to Barcelona earlier than anticipated because he's very eager to begin work, to begin planning for next season, and begin rebuilding his squad. Now during this meeting, the club informed Xabi that they will not be able to sign many of the players that Xabi has requested. Now initially, Barcelona had some optimism about signing several players to reinforce Xabi's squad. However, because of all the problems the club are currently facing, it seems that the club are not feeling that good about being able to bring new signings to reinforce the squad. After all, Barcelona is still in a dire financial situation and there is the big, big problem that the club is currently facing with the players they're trying to offload and they can't seem be able to do so. For example, there are several players that the club want to offload. However, these players have told Barcelona that they don't want to leave and they want to see the remainder of their contract. You know, players like Martin Braithwaite and Neto. And there are other players who have agreed to exit the club However, because of their high wages, many of the clubs interested in them are simply cannot absorb those wages. You know, players like Ricky Puig and Clément Lenglet. And finally, there are several players who will be coming back from loan during this summer, which the club will have to figure out what to do with them. You know, players like Marilyn Pjanic and Francisco Trincao. So because of all these problems that the club is currently facing, Matteo Alemani and Jordi Cruyff have told Xabi that they will not most likely be able to make many of the signings that Xabi has requested and that if the club only signs Robert Lewandowski, that they will consider this summer transfer window as a success. Now this is of course very concerning because if this does happen, it means that the squad for next season will be very similar, almost identical to last year's squad, which of course we all know was not that very competitive. So I hope this doesn't happen and I hope Barcelona are able to make uh, several signings such as that of Jules Koundé and Bernardo Silva to try to reinforce Xavi's squad and begin the rebuilding process. Now on to the news that Barcelona have reached a hurdle in the negotiations for Robert Lewandowski. Now it's, it's being reported that Bayern Munich are asking for 60 million euros for the Polish striker and Barcelona are reportedly not willing to pay that much and they're only willing to pay around 40 million euros. Now Barcelona are still in negotiation with Bayern Munich and they're trying to bring that transfer fee, fee down. And Juan Laporta has called Robert Lewandowski personally to tell him to be patient and let him know that the club is doing everything in its power to sign him and then Barcelona will sign him during this summer transfer window. Now on to the breaking news that ESPN are reporting that Manchester United and Barcelona have agreed on a transfer fee for Frankie de Jong. And this transfer fee is 65 million euros plus 50 million euros in variables for a total package of 80 million euros. Now in my opinion and based on the current transfer market, I believe that this offer is too low and that Barcelona should have not accepted anything below their initial asking price of 100 million euros. However, it seems that Barcelona are trying to rush this deal through before June 30th, which is the last day uh, to finalize the accounts for 2021 and 2022. Now, if Barcelona are able to finalize this deal before that date, they'll be able to account this 60 million, uh, I'm sorry, 80 million euros as income, increase, increasing the wage limit, and of course, they'll be able to take Frankie de Jong off the payroll 
freeing up up to 60 million euros in that wage bill. Now, of course, there remains the final hurdle for this deal, which is trying to convince Frankie de Jong to make the move to Manchester United. Because as of today, Frankie has made it very clear that he wants to remain in Barcelona and he doesn't want to go to the English club. Now, as I reported yesterday's in yesterday's video, which I will leave the link for down below in case you want to check it out, Frankie de Jong is currently on vacation and he will not be back in the club until the end of the week. So if Barcelona want to sit down with him and try to convince him to make that move, that will have to happen at the end of this week or beginning of next week. So make sure you stay in tune to the channel for any more Frankie de Jong updates. And of course, the Frankie de Jong situation is very much tied to that of Bernardo Silva. Because as I've reported many times before, if Barcelona are able to convince Frankie to make the move to the Premier League, then they will, they will use those transfer funds to try to acquire the Portuguese midfielder Bernardo Silva from Manchester City. Now on to the news that Osman Dembele has informed Barcelona that he has two different offers from two different clubs that are better than Barcelona's. Now I'm not sure if this is the truth or this is Osman Dembele trying to use this as a tactic to improve the negotiations for the renewal of his contract. Because as I've reported yesterday, Barcelona have actually made a new offer to Dembele which is lower than the initial offer that was on the table since January. But either way, I've grown sick and tired of hearing about Dembele and if he really wants to remain at the club like he, like he has been saying for many months, he should accept Barcelona's offer and if he's looking to make more money, then he should go to another club. Now we will end today's video with the news that the negotiations for the transfer of Francisco Trincao to the Portuguese club Sporting Lisbon have resumed. Now Francisco Trincao is a player that Barcelona have been trying to offload so they sent him to the Premier League club Wolverhampton on the loan with an obligation to buy. However, Trincao did not impress in the Premier League and Wolverhampton have refused to exercise the obligation for purchase. So Trincao will be coming back to the club during the summer and he has informed Barcelona that he wants to go back to Portugal to resume his professional career. While well, Barcelona were in contact with Sporting Lisbon for the exit of the Portuguese forward. However, those negotiations were briefly paused because Barcelona thought that Dembele did not want to renew his contract and they saw that the Rafinha deal was not going to go through. So they thought that they might have to keep Francisco Trincao as an emergency option. However, these negotiations have resumed and it's being reported that the deal is near its final stages uh, for the loan of Francisco Trincao to Sporting in Lisbon with an obligation to buy. Now there are some conflicting reports with some reports stating that the loan will be for one year and other reports saying that it will be for two years, but either way there will be an obligation to buy in that contract. This is of course great news because not only has Barcelona been trying to offload Trincao for a while, but he's also one of those players that the previous administration signed. So therefore, he has a very high wage that's above market value that Barcelona will be able to take off their books and free up some space in the wage bill if this transfer does happen. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I invite all of you to please leave a comment down below giving me your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I invite all of you to please subscribe to my channel so you can stay current on all the latest news regarding FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, Bisca Barça.